Well, I have gone down the rabbit hole of accessory dwelling units within Orem, Utah, and I've also checked out other ones within Utah County that were not successful because they wouldn't have um, qualified as legal accessory because of um, parking issues or because of HOA. Um, so no matter who you, where you find them, make sure you check with the city, make sure you do your homework so you aren't getting something that later on could be non-legal and then you'd be forced not to be able to rent it out. The whole idea is to do this, get a great income property and you're living there too and getting help with your mortgage. This house, again, is the most turnkey. It's $595. So a little more expensive than the numbers that I had with John, um, but I really like the potential here. This is the great room. And just to give you an idea, see, a few years ago, if you didn't have separate venting from the um, accessory dwelling unit to the main part of the house, you would have to change that out, which is a very, very expensive proposition when it comes to all new venting and um, a change in the drywall usually too. You'd have to thicken the drywall and I don't think you do any more on the ceiling of these. They still do have some uh, wallboard wall heaters, which is great. So you have cozy tenants and cozy tenants are happy ones. So I think it's a nice thing that they have that control. Here is the kitchen. There's a stackable area for your washer and dryer. That's where the fridge goes. And then a really nice kitchen. Quite a clean, great little unit. Here is the bathroom area. And here is the bedroom. This unit, if you need to have a little more space for your own family, is great because behind this wall is uh, the living or the family room for the upstairs. I can't have access right now. Somebody's up there. So I'm just showing you this right now. But I will include all the numbers so that you can see how this could be an advantage for you. And everything that I'm seeing here, you'll have to check of course, but everything I'm seeing on this one satisfies Orem's requirements. It is not legal or it's not registered with the city at this point. I think the mother-in-law lived here before, um, but I, because of all these changes, it seems like a really good option for you. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks.